Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the program to find area of circle, and we are using that program with the help of procedure. We know that procedure is a block which is not returning anything. So first of all, we are going to take a label here, and here we are going to give the message to the user. Let's say enter radius because we need the radius for the circle. So enter radius. Now afterward, we are taking one text box and drag and drop so the user can enter the value here. Now afterward, we are taking one more label, and in this label, let's say we want to say the area. So here it will show the message area. Let's say we want that in a label three. This is the label label three. Here we want to show the result, so we can show it here, and we want that on the click of button. It should be performed. So the name of button we are providing here that is click. Now afterward, we are going to extend the size of button so that it can show properly. Now on the click of button, we want that answer should come into the label three. Now afterward, we are going to provide the name of form. So click over there. We are giving our name. Let's say Ankit Verma. We are providing here the name of form. Then afterward, we just run this project. So when we run this, let's say if I am entering the radius as 10, then I click on this button, then this label 3 should show you the area. So action is triggered on this click button. So we are going back and double click on the button. So here is the coding which is open. Now afterward, the first task we are doing is we are going to create a procedure here. So above the coding of button, we are going to write the procedure. We know that. Procedure means that is not returning anything. So sub sub means not returning anything. Let's say the name of procedure is area. Now if I make it blank, so it is having no argument inside. Blank means no argument. So option number one for making this program is you do not pass any of the argument, right? So what we will do? We will simply go to the button because we know that when we click on the button, then afterward this code will run and we simply call this area function. So this area function will be called and here we are going to perform all the statements. Let's say we are going to take the value from this text box. So we are writing here. Let's say I am declaring some variable dim r as integer. So we are providing one variable r here, r for the radius. Now r is equal to let's say text box one dot text. So from Text box one, we are taking the text and we are converting that to the value. So here we are providing the val function. Now, what we are going to perform, we are going to show the result into the label three. So we can simply take out the result. Let's say I am declaring one variable dim, let's say a, a for the area has double because we know that the answer can be into the double type floating point. So the simple formula for finding the area of circle is area is equal to pi r square. What is pi? 3.14 and afterward into radius into radius. So that is what we have done. Now after that we are going to display the radius into the label. So this is the label 3. Now we can simply say that label 3 dot text will be equal to a. So here we have shown the area. This is a simple procedure. With the help of that, we have created the area of circle. So if I click over there, now if I enter the, let's say 10, now if I click, you can see that 314 is the area. So on the click of button, it is going to call the function, which is having no parameters. Then afterward, we have declared A and R. In the R, we have taken the value from the text box. Then in the A, we have calculated the area. Then we have shown the area into the label. So we have shown the area into the label. Now we are going to modify this program and we are using the parameterized procedure. That means here we are going to pass the parameters or the arguments. Now what we have to do, let's say if I want that, this is the sub area. We know that in the C we write void area. And in the bracket, if I have to pass some parameter, then what we do, we simply write int a. Now how to write that int a in the document? We write a as integer. So let's suppose that here I want 
simply the radius as int r. So how I will write? I will write r as integer. So simply write r as integer. That means one of the variable we are taking here r as integer. Now this portion we are taking out from here. Let's suppose that this portion we don't want here. So we will cut from here. Now in this button I want to perform all this. So whenever we click on the button afterward the value taking from this text box will be taken care by the button. So when we click on the button this R variable is declared. After that text box 1 value is taken into the variable R. Now this R variable we want to pass in the area. You can see that it is showing the error. Why? Because here we are using the argument, here argument is not there. So it is an invalid calling. So in the bracket I am passing this R. So here you can see that now no problem. So area procedure is called and this R is passed. So here we have taken R as integer. Now afterward this R we have stored here. We can even provide by val because by default it is by val if you provide or not. By default it is the by val. By val means it is the by value method. Now afterward on the back you can also provide public or private. It is totally up to you. These are the optional things if you want to provide or not. So this is how we can create the procedure with parameter. Now here you can see that by value is optional and this public or private is optional. Because you provide it or not, dot .NET automatically assume this one. So R as integer. Now how it is working if I run this project again. Now if I enter 10, now click over there, we are having the same answer. So click on the button, then variable R is declared integer type, then the text box value is taken into the R. Now area procedure is called with one parameter as 10. So 10 is there coming here into the R. Now one variable A is declared. Now A is equal to pi R square. So R value is taken and result is shown here. So this is how we can use the procedure for calculating the area of circle.